Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi. I'm a third year medical student and welcome to Ovi Man. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the playlist of my medical school rotation experience series. Is that is that how I call it? I don't know. This week I'm on emergency medicine, so am I for the next week. So I decided to change a bit the format. I'm not gonna be like vlogging in a hospital and everything because it's real hassle and it's really annoying and I just don't wanna be recording inside the hospital. But let me tell you about how the emergency room works. So at the hospital that I'm at right now, the way it works and how it works in most hospitals, I guess, is you have different zones based on the gravity of the injuries or based on the state of the patients. So in zone one, that's where you have the most like critically ill patients. That's where patients, if you don't do anything, they're gonna die. Like critically ill patients, most of the time brought in by ambulance. You can have cardiac arrests, you can have strokes, you can have trauma, you can have like myocardial infarctions, like you can have, you know, like really, really, really severe things like road traffic accidents things like that. Now in zone two, you're gonna have acutely unwell patients. So in zone two, you can have someone who's been like seen in zone one and assessed and they're stable and then they're being moved to zone two. Or in zone two, you can have like deep lacerations, you can have um, symptomatic chest pain episodes, you can have syncopes, you know, you can have different sort of things. Um, they are still, you know, acutely unwell they need to be checked at a regular interval like every 15 20 30 minutes they need to be kept under close surveillance uh, it can be like burns like big burns so yeah zone two is still you know pretty severe pretty bad but their life is not hanging by a thread or their life is not at an immediate risk like in zone one so it's sort of like a de-escalation a bit then we move on to zone three and zone three uh, the hospital that I'm working right now is everything that has to do with the respiratory system. Everything that has to do with the lungs. So whether it's the flu, whether it's COVID, whether it's, I don't know, anything else like pneumonia, asthma, exacerbations of asthma, um, things like that, it would all go into zone three. Uh, of course, if someone has a trauma and they also have the flu, they're gonna go in zone one, right? But if their main presenting complaint is something that has to do with the respiratory system, they go straight to zone three. And then zone four is, I guess, sort of like um, the more minor cases. So it could be small lacerations. It can be, you know, uh, like the typical things, like you would have, you know, uh, light, like chest pressure or discomfort. It could be abdominal pain, could be headaches, you know, very, very common presenting complaints it could be like ankle sprains or back pain you know things like that uh, more like minor stuff um, and oftentimes these people like you know they came in by themselves and then they wait like for x number of hours in the waiting room and then they get seen and turns out that you know either it's something that it's not too bad it's not too too you know severe but usually how it works is that patients come through triage and that they get assigned to a specific zone and then they go and then they get seen and then they go back to waiting room or they stay there go for an x-ray blood tests things like that and yeah so that's how the emergency room works you have these four different zones in some other hospitals you might have more zones if they're bigger or like made differently but yeah that's how it works at the hospital that i was in and so during my first day uh, i started out in zone four so i was there I was seeing like new patients I was doing a history a physical exam and then I would report that to the resident or the consultant who was there um, and then that was like pretty much my role so having like an initial view just after the nurses um, have seen the patient through a triage uh, yeah I would see them a little bit and then in the afternoon I decide to go to zone one see you know see what that's like see how you know if it's like in the movies if it's like Chicago Med or like Grey's Anatomy where it's like blood everywhere like chaos and everything um, Turns out it's really not like that um, I've been to the ED before but now it's my first like actual rotation it was my very first day So I don't know I'll see for the rest of the week how it is but yeah, it's very organized. It's uh, of course like very clean um, There's loads of room. There's lots of like patient bays and everything uh, I've been to other hospitals where you get like where 
really overflows and get patients in the hallways and the corridors, uh, like beds literally everywhere. I'm happy that the hospital that I'm at right now, it's a big university hospital and they have enough room for all the patients. Um, so yeah, that was like cool to see. I just saw people running. The trolley came in, someone like on top of the patient doing like compressions. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. Um, if you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here. And I'll see you in my next video.